1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 19 says, Do not quench the Spirit. Now we know that the Holy Spirit, He is God. The Holy Spirit, He is also called the Spirit of Truth and He comes to lead us, guide us, comfort us, convict us, strengthen us. So when He leads us to do something, um, we hold back because we are afraid. We hold back because of fear. Uh, we hold back because we are afraid uh, of following his instructions. We are afraid of the outcome of what may or may not happen if we truly follow his instructions. So uh, Paul is actually admonishing you know, the Thessalonican church and he's saying, do not quench the Spirit of God. And quench the word means to extinguish, extinguish as in throwing water on fire to put it out. So he's saying, uh, do not quench, do not extinguish the work of God. Um, uh, the word quench also means to suppress. So maybe the Lord is leading us to do something or giving us fresh ideas or initiatives. Uh, when we suppress, we actually suppress the work of the Holy Spirit. So Paul is saying, do not suppress, uh, do not put out or the, the word quench also has, uh, has a picture of evaporating or drying up. So when we ignore the voice of the Holy Spirit, when we ignore the instruction of the Holy Spirit, um, that to, uh, the Holy Spirit to, when we ignore the instruction leading us to do the good works that He's already laid out before, her, before us, when we ignore His voice or disobey His instruction, we quench the Spirit of God. We extinguish, it is like throwing water on fire, on the flames. It is like suppressing, it is putting out and it's, it's as if something just evaporates and it's no longer there. But when we say yes to Him, when we say yes Lord, and when we have a ready and willing posture, it is like adding fuel to the flame. It is like adding fuel to the flame and the flame burns uh, higher and it, instead of dousing the flame of the Holy Spirit. So when we obey, when we say yes to Him, we are actually fueling the flame of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Um, the main reason why we quench is because we are afraid or fearful of the consequence. Now the Holy Spirit, when, now when, when the Holy Spirit leads us, when God leads us, you know, we need to step out in faith. I need to step out in faith and obey what He's called me to do to do what He has called me to do. Now, uh, He will take care of the consequences. He will take care of the outcome. Uh, but He expects us, He's looking to us to actually step out in faith and obey. So the instruction is this, uh, from this verse that, let's not ignore the leading of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is there to lead us. The Holy Spirit is there to guide us. Uh, but our response can be that of ignoring he can be speaking to us, he can be guiding us, but if we willfully ignore then his voice in our lives, it's like that fire that goes out, it becomes faint and faint. We should also not disregard his voice and also um, we should not miss out on this wonderful opportunity to be led by the Spirit of God, on this wonderful opportunity that he has created and orchestrated and he's just leading us into it. So uh, once again, let us not quench the work of the Spirit. Let us not quench the Spirit of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you've called us to, uh, to fuel the flame. You've called us to obey. You've called us to be willing and ready. And, um, and that is the posture of our heart, Lord. And I pray today that that will, that will be the posture of our heart, even as you lead us. Lord, even as you lead us to do some things, um, Lord, even as you lead us to step out of the boat into the water, even as you lead us to step out in faith and do some radical and bold and courageous things. And I pray that you lead us, Lord, into things that you've orchestrated for us, even as we are ready and willing to follow. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.